Hi, Ian here. Thanks for tuning in. Today I wanted to try and discuss uh, something that Nick Faldo did for, oh, for, for many, many years. He had uh, a position and address that he would set and from this position he would just coil up and then release. Very, very simple to follow, practice, really, really gets three elements in your swing. Um, the, the, the loading of the wrists at the start, coil, release, in that order. So we'll run through this now, uh, but in the meantime, uh, if you like the content, please subscribe. It's really appreciated and we'll crack on. Okay, so I'm going to show you two views, uh, one down the line and one face on. So we'll start with the down the line angle. So we would take our normal setup. The first thing we would do is we would try and set this position. Now here, the club shaft should be parallel to the ball to target line. So it's not this way and it's not this way. We try and make sure that that is parallel to where we want the ball to go. So set up and then set this position. You'll notice that the hands, the arms rotate. So there's rotation here and there's a little rotation here in the, the trail arm and the trail elbow. That looks about right to me there. So now I'll show you from the face on view. So from the face on view, again we would try and make a good setup and then making the same pre-shot routine here the key, well there's two keys actually, first one is the shaft being parallel to the ground. From the down the line view we were trying to get the shaft parallel to the target line. So from this view I'm trying to get the shaft parallel to the ground. And those are the two key shaft elements or the place where the shaft should be to make sure you're doing this correctly. But one thing I must ask you to be careful of is when you attempt to do this, most of my pupils will swing away and then try and make the position. All this does is drag the hands and arms out of position and we lose the connection that we really want between the hands, arms and shoulders. So when you make this movement, ensure that your hands effectively, where they are here, they're not moving, they're just rotating. Same with the right hand and the right forearm. Here you'll see there's a little bit of rotation in the forearm, the trail forearm there. So again, my hands, arms, wrists just rotate to form this position. Now from here, all we do is keep it together, keep it together, maintain the position and then just release through. You can practice this with smaller shots as well because you've already loaded the hands into their correct position. So let's just try one more, just doing this slowly. So again, I'm not swinging away from the ball at all. I'm rotating, checking. That looks correct from here wind, keep it together, little shot and release through. It's a great practice 
Uh, as I say, Sir Nick Faldo did this for many, many years, and as you should know, he was very, very successful also. So I don't think it's a bad idea to copy some of the things he did. But leave me a comment, let me know what you think about this type of practice. I think that key there is to make sure you're not moving your hands and arms back into the backswing. It's just a ro rotary motion that you're setting before you swing back. Anyway, if you like the content, please subscribe. It's always really appreciated. And until next time, thanks very much for watching.